worked in federal government for many years through different administrations. Uh, and I wonder if the kind of turnover at, at the White House and turnover in Congress makes it kind of harder to, to have that kind of conversation, because these conversations take years, right? You can't just walk in to someone's office on Capitol Hill and say, you know, there's too many people, we don't, we're confused, can you just please have one phone number to call? Is it hard, from your perspective, because of the changes in Washington every few years, to have a sort of um, continuation of that conversation, or is that just part of, you know, what we're dealing with in our current system? Um, I would say, for the most part, um, cyber policy um, and the approach has been pretty consistent since the late 90s, for better or worse. And, um, it, and really, each successive administration has, has built off of that. Um, I don't think you've seen sort of massive shifts in, OK, now go do this, like you see in some other areas. Mostly because it's been sort of it's it's a very nonpartisan sort of topic. Um, I think sometimes with to, back to your previous question, you do have some, some entrenched interests, sometimes in Congress, sometimes in different administrations of which organization they want to empower. Um, so sometimes you know that can have mm -hmm. some impact. I will say, and I know we've been talking more about government's role in the critical infrastructure, external cyber. The, one of the biggest impacts it has, though, is for federal cybersecurity. And um, agencies' inability to have consistent long-term funding plans to fix some of their biggest challenges around legacy infrastructure and all of that, that's where I see is an inability to have the, that long-term budgeting approach, um, not just for the agencies, CISA, FBI, and others that we're talking about, but um, for, for some of the, the really critical vulnerabilities internal to the government.